Alerodicus dugesii is the giant white fly, well known for its abnormal adult size of 5 mm and the unique copious waxy threads that the nymphs produce on the undersides of leaves. They are known to feed on more than 300 species across 77 plant families and hail from their native range of central and southern Mexico. The giant whitefly produces extremely pubescent patches of wax as nymphs, and these structures have several effects. Wax of aphids, scales, and whiteflies typically resist water and the sticky honeydew they produce, and can also interfere with the discovery or interaction by predators. These wax structures accumulate on the bodies of predators like parasitic wasps, such as Idioporus affinis and interfere with movement and grooming behavior, dramatically decreasing rate of parasitation compared to totally wax-free specimens. The honeydew they produce is a substrate for sooty mold in the group Capnodialis, which lower the photosynthetic activity of host plants by growing on the surface of their sugary substance. Successful development occurs between 15 and 28 degrees Celsius, is most stable at 25 degrees, and breaks down around 9 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius, with male development completing 2 to 6 times faster than females, which can have an adverse effect on the dynamics of an establishing population. At colder temperatures, many nymphs will die from complications during molting and fall from the host. At hotter temperatures, adults may have similar complications during their final molt. Multiple control options exist for the management of Alerodicus dugesii populations. Like with other whitefly species, the regular pruning of foliage where possible is an important aspect of preventing establishing populations from developing and increases their chances of detection. Several chemical agents are available, but biocontrol agents are becoming more popular, whether microbials such as Bouveria bassiana or parasitic wasps such as Encarciella noyesi and Idioporus affinis. Inspecting plants before admitting them into a cultivation space is also generally helpful to identifying and treating populations before they become more serious.